This is it. This is really it. This is the last good part before it gets irredeemably bad. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to Let's Play New Sakura Wars. I am your host, Ultra Director Jester, with the Niskol. Your murmurs of disdain for the last part of the first half of, of New Sakura Wars is just is so perfect. <laughs> Well, uh, we, we just got simple combat here. It's just simple, you know, go into the demon realm and, you know, somewhere in Tokyo, save our friends, kick the ass of whoever's doing it, and then save the day. Pretty simple, nothing too bad. So, uh, I will say, though, uh, for those trophy hunting out there, this is the chapter to get, uh, 10 on morale. There are tons of purple crystals around here. And by smashing plenty of purple crystals, that's how you get, uh, the, the search bonus and uh, it ups your morale by 20 points oh okay so, now, so I don't know if I've been showing up but I've been doing like a dodge mechanic mm -hmm. that's kind of been a way to avoid most damage because if you do it just right you just dodge here time slows down ah so yes shut off the witch time okay I remember this but what I haven't shown off is uh, something called like a, like a flash or whatever he hits triangle there. You do a finishing move. Whoa! That gets you some extra points too. So it's a great way to practice your dodging because there's a lot of hell fiends that have really telegraphed attacks that you can dodge no problem. There's a whole lot of these uh, purple things that you know. See, look, we're already at five, and the mission's not even started. So uh, we got a new enemy type, a Ravager. What they do is they just dance around, glow, and spit out smaller enemies. Oh. Not too tough. Now, do uh, you killing their spawn uh, increase your rank? I think it probably adds to something. Probably adds to your damage. Probably doesn't count for much, though. No, because uh, I've dealt with that before, where there's an enemy that spawns like little minions, but the minions count for nothing, and you have to actually kill the hive. Like, it should count for, like, a minuscule amount of points. Enough so that we accounts for something, but you can't just sit there and farm it and get an S rank. Right. Because then you'll run out of time, and yeah. Right. Time for the team attack of Seijiro and Iz uh, Azami. Shadow Clone Jutsu! Oh, really? That doesn't seem that hard. Uh, well, okay. <laughs> Wait, how does that work? <laughs> okay, Wh wh that whatever. Was funny. Another attack bonus. This is kind, kind of cute. It'd be about, about like a seven. It added a lot to your morale. What else did it do? Yeah, I think that does. It gives you a damage bonus, so you can attack things and you know get more of a bonus because you're doing a lot of takedowns and no damage together. Hopefully. Yeah, I can definitely tell you got some extra damage on there because things are actually dying in a timely manner. I'm also very good. Okay, now let's not go crazy here. <laughs> now, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't we already have our combat segment in this chapter, or was that the chapter before? That was the chapter before. Oh my god, I'm going insane! I Oh, it's all meshing together! So we had the first one where the Shanghai Comet Review attacked us. We yeah. had the second one where we had to do stuff with Claris. We had the third one, which was the first round of the games. Now we got this one here, which oh, is... God. Saving saving our friends with Azami! That's right! Oh! Oh, big snake, by the way. <laughs> okay. We gotta, we, we gotta spend five minutes saying... No, it's... It, it's, uh... Unkillable... Uh... Environmental hazard. Really? Which means, do, which means don't attack it. it. It it won't. It can hurt us. We can't hurt it. So just don't bother. 
You know, I've never understood that corporeal element. Like, if we can't hurt it, how is it hurting us? It just sounds like it's not real. Nah, it just seems like a real lazy way to say, you know, it's it's a hazard. Don't ki don't hurt it. I mean, maybe I don't understand. Trap. Yeah, yeah, maybe. That was a critical hit and a hit. That was a Fuck. sixty morale hit. Well, you can get it back. Just kill that thing. Yeah, well, it might be hard though, because that was a massive hit. You're gonna have to be uh, pretty good if you want to get the morale back up to ten. If you're looking for that. Well, that's kind of mean. I mean you, you can still easily get your morale back up to eight, which eight is what's needed for an S rank. And, and really, you only need to have it at ten. Just have it reach ten. You don't have to keep it at ten for the duration of the of the round if you're looking for that. You know, have we ever talked about the trophy list of this game? I don't think we have. Like. Again, correct me if I'm wrong, but is there one for getting high enough points with every girl for an ending? Yes, there is a trophy for getting every girl's ending. Hmm. I don't think no. I want to play this game that many times. Well, uh, if you do the BattleBot simulations, that affects your uh, rank as well, your affection with them. Oh, okay. So, could you technically get enough points with every girl and then just make a decision at the end of the game for different endings? Yeah, it's, I mean, you just have to have enough points with them so you can choose them, but it's not that hard. Okay. It's not like Soccer Wars 5 where you really gotta focus hard if you want that. Yeah, I'm just thinking of some other JRPGs I own where they wanted you to play the entire game and only focus on one girl to get the best ending. Nah, Soccer Wars took care of the focusing on one girl part for you. But what if that one girl I don't like? Well then, you're not gonna like this game very much, because apparently I'm in the minority when I think that soccer is terrible. <laughs> A lot of people love her, and I don't know why. It's because she's young and cute and has a dream. You know who else is young, cute, and has a dream? Fucking Everybody me. else in the world! <laughs> Fucking everybody, including me, including you. I mean, Jesus. I mean, I mean maybe they see the... that as a reflection of themselves, but no, oh God. Well, eh on the young part, eh on the cute part, but then that we, we'd be getting into character traits that Soccer Wars doesn't have the, the, the need, the desire to explore. Uh, okay, then, let me throw in my line, let's reel that one back, let's redact that, and let me fix it for you. We are finally aged, fucking hot, and have a dream. Ugh. We're, we're kawaii. <laughs> With a couple more cringes added in. <laughs> Kawaii. Kawaii. Yeah. I don't know. I, th I think we could pose as a couple NPCs in a Yakuza game. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, the kind that have the the side quests. <laughs> exactly. I mean, maybe not Mr. Libido, but uh... no, no, maybe not the baby one either. But <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I could be, you know, part of a, a male host club. What do you think? Yeah, we could probably do the male host club thing. Mm -hmm. All you gotta do is schmooze with uh, very fine young ladies and, you know, make them feel good about themselves. I could do that. What you do is uh, you, you say a sentence and then you cut it off and then you turn away and then look back with half-closed eyes. So, And you say it as centrally as possible. So it's like, <laughs> so it's like, I wonder what the weather's going. Uh, to be like today. Oh my oh, god. No, big serpent's chasing us. It's a giant snake. Don't get oh, eaten. I, oh. I haven't had that much of a pulse pounding experience like that since Crash Bandicoot 3. Oh my god, didn't Sonic Forces do this? Yeah, a couple times. Hey, our friends are up there. We must save them. 
Break a couple more of these. Oh, you're so close. You're so close. We got plenty of time. We got this, a uh, little bit more, and then uh, the final boss. Okay. So we, there's, there's still time to get to rank 10. Yeah, they're apparently always close to breaking, and they're heaps of junk, and they're terrible, and shouldn't be out fighting, but here they are anyway, and we don't ever seem to address that again. How did Hatsuho go down? She has the, the fire hammer. You'll never break our spirit, because even though my legs broke it in two places, and even though I think I'm blind in one eye and it is hard to hear anything, we have spirit. You can never break our indomitable spirit! Sakura, I don't want to hear about the spirit thing when you probably cry at commercials with puppies in them. Gee, Sakura would have a puppy. She would save so many puppies. Oh, shit. Is that an umbrella blade? Is that what Anastasia has? She's got, like, a gun. Oh, it's a gun? It's a gun. Oh, it looks like an umbrella. <laughs> it's a big fuck-off gun. Alright, uh, find a good place to use a special attack. Uh, where'd be a good right of a uh, oh, big old group of enemies. Look at that mosh pit you just made. Yeah, break these guys down a little bit. Oh, I'm lone wolfing it. Sorry, girls. You know, soften them up a bit. This you is a great way to boost up your morale a little bit before the end. <laughs> yeah, by saying, nah, I got this. Great morale there's booster. A, there's a lot of enemies here. If you, like, kill them close enough to your partner, oh, okay. they'll, be like, they'll be like, oh, shit, we're, we're working together. We're working great. We're killing all these dudes. So it's kind of uh, like the... Up at, like, a level or two. Yeah, it's like the Fire Emblem thing where if you're within range, it's like, wow, oh, we're pretty compatible, don't you think? If, if it counts as us defeating enemies together. Yes. Or if you're too far away and they won't like that, because... Captain! <laughs> Captain! Excuse me! I wanted to fight enemies with you, but here you are just going off on your own. We're a team, Captain! You know... I think Yakuza 8 should have side characters that are kind of like us playing a game like this. I don't know if you would describe us as jaded yet, but it's more just like, oh, this game sucks. Why are we still playing it? I don't know, because I already put in 100 yen and I'm not going to lose out on that money. Yeah, I'm asking myself, why am I doing this? Like, I literally, like, like why are we do why are we going this far? Nobody watches this. Nobody cares. And, you know, you're just, you're, you're just being angry. <laughs> for 20 episodes now, why you keep going? Well, I'll tell you why, because, oh! you know, love and hate are very strong feelings, guys. Well, is, I, I'd like to think that, you know, same case as the bad games I play, it's more vindication than anything else. Like, it's if, like you, 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 you have to see this. You have to see this. <laughs> I don't like those hands. So he's got, he's got a bunch of hands that do hand things. You gotta choose if one hand is the real hand. You find the real hand, you find the real guy, and you kill him. <laughs> Wait a minute, is he a ninja? Well, uh, Azumi uses her special attack. It's the secret I win move. It throws a whole bunch of shurikens. Hitting the real one eventually. And that's when you attack him. But they're gonna blah 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 and go, Yeah! That's the way you use your your ability to work together by doing a crazy individual move. It's like, maybe we need to focus on what each person brings to the team, you know? Instead of the, the, that's being a team, you know? Maybe they're parts of a body. Maybe they're different, you know, uh, different personalities. Oh my god, it's just... You're right, they didn't let you attack him. He was able to get back up. 
That's so bad. Oh my god. It's feeling like a Power Rangers episode now. Can You'll never beat us because we do our best! Can we do a Yakuza series next? I know you've had a touching character moment already, and you have no conflicting feelings about that, but why don't you join me and forget about this loser? You're obviously going to say yes, after all. Isn't that right, you predictable little 13-year-old girl? They already called you a snoop, so why not join the bad guys? What's that?! You're going to choose your friends over me, your enemy?! Such insolence! I'll make you pay for this! There was no build-up to this. It's it's just, okay, I guess we'll have that moment now. Why not? Like, if she was truly doubting herself, she should have spent a chapter building that up. Instead of our goofball of a leader following this girl and thinking, Oh, does she really like sweets or is she a bad guy? Boy, you remember Rika's chapter in Sakura Wars 5? Where she was so distraught about getting that thing wrong that she ran away for like two days and didn't need a goddamn thing and just froze to death inside of a warehouse until we had to go and find her. You remember that shit? See, that's build up. I think that had a couple intermissions, didn't it? Oh yeah, it even started with them like, you know, having like a play or whatever, but she's like going crazy and, you know, acting rambunctious and then... We had a combat scene, it messed up, and then that's when she ran away. That's the what whole this- th It oh. was all structured around the character! That's what this is missing! Structure! I like, I thought I was going insane when I noticed that, oh hey, we're already through chapter 4, because there was only a gameplay segment, which doubled as a story segment, and then the combat. Th there needs to be multiple intermissions, guys! And there are! Just say uh, intermission between story stuff. Alright, how about this? Yeah, go get him. Hey, I, think I don't you like hit using him. a zombie, she's kind of slow and has crap range and doesn't attack where I want her to. Well, as, lo as long as you hit the dude. Hey, look, there he is. So now I'm back with this Kamiyama. He's, he's gonna do this. Okay. So, there. you don't need a zombie's magical. Special attack, you can just... Oh my god, hit. really? <laughs> Some of the fists, uh, you'll notice one's a little bit off. The ones that are a bit off is usually the one that's him. Okay. Well, he's he's fucking dead. I mean, oh my god, you're doing so much damage. Yeah, no. No, we're at max morale. There's no way that he's gonna fucking... Okay. <laughs> if, a, if, if a zombie had her uh, special attack, like she does now, I could have had him in one. Oh, damn it. That would have been awesome. But, no. See, I, I, could, I could just keep attacking Fist forever, but there's one over here that's kind of kind of hanging out. A little bit out of reach, a little bit out of sight. Yeah, I noticed that too. But I can just use a zombie to, pu to pull him out. It's usually the one that doesn't punch with all the others hangs back, so that way... Yeah, see. All right, let's finish this. Yeah, he, he's, on him. he's so dead. That's you! But I was so well established as a villain! I had sharp teeth! I had floppy ears! I danced! Ah! Yeah, you're about as memorable as a Kingdom Hearts heartless. <laughs> well, that character model didn't match up with that line reading. Not at all. So, S S S S S. Holy shit! Straight s s for serpent. Ooh, I heard if, that. If you, if you try a little bit hard, it is not that difficult to get an S rank. If you just do great, crazy good combos, 
and do a team attack every so often and do a special attack, well, you know, relatively frequently, then you'll be just fine. Crazy good! Radical combos! He is a demon on the battlefield! You will walk the blood-soaked footprints of war with him! Kunai in hand, you shall dominate the rest of Japan. Your wedding shall be held atop the bones of your enemies. The throne of bone, if you will. You shall walk in death's shadow, and he will be the pure white rider on the horse of death and death destruction. The Grim Reaper answers to you, my dear. <laughs> Happiness will be fleeting for a few short moments like this before it is swallowed up by the darkness of the vacuum of your sole responsibility to be the messenger of death. Anyway, I love you. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> see, he puts that blindfold on just so he can't see what the monster he's created. You know, if No this shit, game... he was a real ninja! Haven't you figured that out already? Uh, if this game ever gets dubbed, can we have Mike Pollock do this guy's voice? <laughs> the old man. If this gets a dub, can every role just be Dimitri Martin? <laughs> you know, that's that's gonna be the sad part. And, you know, dubs have gotten really good in within the past, like, ten years or so. So it's unfortunate when games like this get snubbed because, you know, then you have to li watch subtitles the whole time. But then again, you're, you're kind of saving some of your actors' ridicule. See, I'm a, I'm a purist, though, so your little whiny dub complaints just wash right off me. Not exactly whiny, because Sakura Wars the Animation is getting a dub, and that'll be the, the only thing I contribute to this Let's Play. No way to cut back on money at all! <laughs> we, See, it, we, if we're so in the red, we can afford to buy Sakura a new fucking mech, but no problem. But hey! Wait a minute! Hold on! We haven't had quite enough intrigue what? in this chapter yet! What? The Imperial Theater <laughs> is under attack! What? <gasps> no! Get out of here! Oh Yaksha my Shiguchi God. did it! No! <laughs> and now Sakura is gonna show her, uh. <laughs> She's gonna show her calm level head as a as a warrior swordswoman mm -hmm. and uh, jump right into battle without thinking oh my god the revelation I will get out of my mech that helps me fight you know really good and instead fight you as a regular human person with no special abilities Ugh! Yep. this isn't working fucking deflected A ripple through time. It's almost as if she's from the dark world. So that wasn't very smart, fighting in front of your mech. Because now your mech's destroyed. Oh my God. I mean, you were getting a new one anyway, but... A calm, level-headed woman. Through and through. Yeah. I mean, she's starting to pull after Lance a lot, and... Or, yeah, Lance a lot. Bad idea. Alright. And now things are gonna get bad. So her theater was in the red, but now it's even more in the red, because now... 
<laughs> Apparently, oh the God. underground hangar has taken some damage. <laughs> oh my God. The theater has taken damage. We can't hold on shows. Uh, uh, okay. Well, we actually just came and single-handedly destroyed the theater somehow. We left the door why. wide open. They, they, they didn't do that to, sh to Shenglong. Only our place, that's weird. That's so strange. It's almost as if there is a spiritual connection between Yaksha and somebody on our combat review. Which means that there is indeed a spy in our group. <gasps> I hope it's Sakura so I can hate this game more. Spy? Why would she be the spy? Because it's really cliche. Uh, there, no, there, there is a spy here. There, there seriously is a spy. It's not a red herring. It's not something that the game made up to great drama. There is a spy among us. There is an imposter among us. So who's sus or vote to skip? <laughs> I don't know. Red's pretty sus. Red's always sus. I saw pink vent. <laughs> Shoot her out. <laughs> so Sakura's Mugen was destroyed. Oh no! Well, yeah, that was kind of the what happens when you jump out of it to attack somebody. No, that was her Kobu. Oh well. So now both of her mechs have been destroyed. <laughs> The Kobu that she was using got destroyed <laughs> while she was attacking Yasha, and now her Mugen was destroyed in the attack, so now she has nothing. It was she destroyed. can't fight at all. <laughs> she was destroyed off screen? <laughs> oh, and no. now, Sakura is <laughs> careening in a pit of unfathomable <laughs> despair. I can't! I can't! <laughs> and now, she's going to run off and hide like she always does. <laughs> I have never seen a character this poorly written! Oh, no, wait! We're not done yet! She can't fight! She lost a role model. She has nothing anymore. Her ambitions and her dreams. My dreams! It's all gone. She has nothing to live for anymore. You may! Oh my god. Her motivation was so flimsy. As soon as things go rough for a little bit, <laughs> she can't keep fighting anymore. She can't do anything. Oh, it's a good thing she was named Sakura because she's about as flimsy as an actual flower. So next time on Soccer Wars, we're gonna spend a whole fucking chapter trying to cheer yeah! her up! Yeah! The next I chapter! Knew it. I the next knew chapter it. is all about making Sakura feel better, and would you believe it's supposed to be the Hatsuho chapter? <laughs> Hatsuho and Sakura have to no! share a chapter! Oh, and it's also the next round of the games, so. The next round, the next part of Ch of Sakura Wars is going to be the worst it has been so far. <laughs> oh god! Oh no! It is not going to get any worse. You gotta be fucking kidding me, dude! Oh god! It is going to be a shared hot snow and Sakura chapter all about making Sakura feel fucking better. Oh, and it's the games. And we got bromides. And we got all that stuff that I got. Oh my god. It's going to get so bad I can't even begin to describe. So we'll just see you next time. Okay.